Hey, BC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video here just to share a couple of um, some really cheap but good finds that I, I had this week. I haven't picked up a lot of things and I uh, haven't really spent really any money this week, last week or two on vinyl, but I did hit a couple of garage sales and uh, found some really good dollar bin stuff. So everything I'm going to show you right now I got for a dollar or less. So it's kind of some cool stuff here. Um, I think I've actually, sh I think I showed these last time, but they were having a discount sale at one of the FYEs, and they had a bunch of CDs that were only $1.50 each. And I might have shown these last video. I apologize if I did, but I picked up Sarah Vaughn, our 50 Greatest Hits. This is the essence of Sarah Vaughn. Very nice two CD set. And again, only $1.50. Uh, two CD set of Cher, our Sunny and Cher classics. Just all of their their old hits, and again, pretty good for only a dollar fifty. And I think I already put away the two. There was two Johnny Cash CDs that I picked up as well, up for only a dollar fifty each. And I think I already put them away, so I apologize. And then at a yard sale, I picked up three other CDs, which I got for thirty cents a piece, and they were in great condition. The cases are a little dirty, but the artwork and the CD themselves are in perfect condition. No scuff scratches or anything. But I picked up, again, for only 30 cents, Led Zeppelin, Presents, which was a good find. I picked up Motley Crue, Theater of Pain. And this was a really good find. Sepultura, Arise, for only 30 cents. And that was a really great find because, I mean, I've been familiar with this band. I think uh, really the, the album Roots is the first album that really turned my eye to them. But I just never really had a chance to listen to this album. I mean, plain and simple. And so I saw that for only 30 cents and I picked it up. And, and this album is a monster. I mean, it's <laughs> I listened to the whole thing this afternoon and was just floored by it. So uh, that was a very, very, very good find there. You know, 30 Cents introduced me to some incredible metal right there. Especially songs like the Dead Embryonic Cells. Man, just mean stuff. Great metal. Um, now everything else here I picked up for a dollar a piece. And we will start off with one that I needed to come a little closer to uh, doing an artist completion here, which is Black Sabbath. The Eternal Idol. And I'm really glad glad I waited on buying this one too because you know I'd seen it a number of places. It was typically four, five, six, eight, nine dollars, and uh, I just kind of held off and held off. And good thing I did because I found this really good copy for only one dollar. Uh, another good dollar find, Ram Jam. And actually, I really wasn't a hundred percent sure who this was when I bought the album, but the, the cover caught me enough, and I was like, well, a dollar, let me give it a try, and uh, didn't even pay attention that they were the ones that sang Black Betty, I just, it just didn't click when I was looking through it, so again, another very good dollar pickup, here's a really good one dollar pickup, The Revol Revolver by The Beatles, and I actually already have a copy of this, and this is the, uh, uh, 2576 stereo release on the Black Columbia, which is in see, really, really clean and really good shape. There's some dust on here right now, but I played, I cleaned and played one side, and it's almost flawless in that regard. So again, I already have a copy of it, but I couldn't pass it up for only a dollar. So anyone out there who might need a copy of this, you know, let me know, and we can see we might be able to work out because I don't need two copies of the revolver. I need five copies of Metallica's Master of Puppets, but I don't need two copies of the Beatles Revolver. <laughs> but uh, here's another one I already had, but again, I couldn't pass it up for only a dollar, which is Janis Joplin's Pearl. And this is actually a reissue, so I'll probably end up keeping this one, because it is a different, uh, different pressing than the one I already have. You can even see on the cover of this one how they went through and did some airbrushing and stuff that makes it look a lot different than the other one, which I thought was kind of interesting. But So again, another very good dollar find. And this next one here is just, this is an album that 
I don't know, something about me and the universe is connecting with this album because I'm finding it everywhere for only a dollar. But it's uh, Pink Boy The Wall. I think this is the fourth copy in the past month or two that I've stumbled across for only one dollar in great condition. I mean, the cover's extremely nice. The vinyl is in great condition. No scratches, no scuffs or anything. No writing. Just a very, very clean copy. So, uh, I think I have, I have one in my collection. I think I have two others that are in my just need to do something with pile. So again, if anyone's looking for a copy of The Wall, you know, get in contact with me. Let me know. We'll see what we can work out because I don't need three copies of it. <laughs> and uh, another dollar fine I already had, but again, you can't pass it up when it's sitting there for only 99 cents, which is Dark Side of the Moon. Covers a little bit, tad bit rough. You can see some ring wear there, but the uh, vinyl's in really good shape. And again, not one that I need two copies of. So let me know if you need a decent copy of Dark Side of the Moon. One of my favorite hip hop bands of all time, which is EPMD. This is Rampage, a 12-inch single featuring LL Cool J. So that was really good to find. Um, 12 inch single R. Kelly Half on My Baby and again that was a good find for only a buck because R. Kelly's stuff is not always that cheap so to speak depending on what you're looking for what you get but just kind of in general and then we got Bad Company this is 10 to 6 or 10 from 6 I'm sorry just basically kind of a greatest hits type thing can't get enough of your love. Feel like making love, running with the pack. A lot of their their old hits, rock and roll fantasy, which is one of my favorite songs by them. And this is another one of those pieces that kind of makes my collection my collection. Pop hits, country flavored. <laughs> so just kind of some uh, you know hits at the time that country artists covered. You know, cute little filly there on the front, but. Uh, <laughs> the main reason I picked this up is because it has a very good cover that Willie Nelson did of James Taylor's Fire and Rain. He did a really, really nice cover on this, which was nice. There's also a cover that Chet Atkins did of Mrs. Robinson, but I haven't actually heard that one yet. So I'll, I'll check that out once I listen to it. But I knew about that Willie Nelson version of Fire and Rain, so it was nice to find it on this. Uh, another good step towards creating, or completing, I should say, an artist collection. I found another album by Cameo. And this is We All Know Who We Are. Uh, this is one of their albums I'm what, not familiar with. I mean, th most of their stuff, th they were really big in the 80s, and that's really when I was into them. I think this one was came out in like 79, 77, or something like that. I'm going to go crazy if I don't know the exact date on there now. Uh, 77, yeah. So, I'm not familiar with any of the songs on here, but I know it's Cameo, and it's going to be something good. So, that's another nice one. I really need to get a firm idea of exactly all their studio albums, because it seems like I always just stumble across one I've never seen before. There's so many of them out there. And I picked up a copy of Yes. Again, another very good dollar bin find. Uh, and then some more good country here. This is Kitty Wells' Country Heart. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with this album, but I think the cover definitely sums up what you get with it. This is just your good old-fashioned, down-home, twangy country, um, which I not which I really like. I mean, it's just it's a sometimes a very soothing thing just to kind of put on in the background, uh, kind of a. Um, just kind of like a roots grounding type of feeling that you get, at least I get from it. I think that's what I find attractive in this older twangy country kind of music. There's just something really kind of real about it. And um, that's exactly what this is, you know. It's not popped up a little bit to be more popular or, <clears throat> or for her to sell more albums or anything like that. It's just good old country twang. <laughs> and I like it. So, uh, that's an interesting piece, to say the least. 
Star Wars. Again, didn't have it, found it in a dollar bin. So it's a good 2 LP set. Another good dollar bin find. Yusuf Latif, Archives of Jazz. Really cool cover, too. A little bit of writing right there on the side, but still, dollar find. Very good jazz, good stuff. That'll definitely hold me time to get a better copy. And last but not least, Orleans. Nice 2 LP set. This is with John Hall. And it just basically has all of their good stuff on there, including my favorite song by them, which is Dance With Me. Love that song. Love it, love it, love it. So very good 2 LP set. So those are the albums that I've picked up and the CDs that I've picked up this week. I uh, picked up one other thing, too, and I think I'm going to go ahead and show this because um, I know... I know the Mr. and the Mrs. Final Gym, you guys down there in Tennessee, you will appreciate this. Because you remember that talk that we had when we were down here talking about shows we had been to and everything else. And you were telling me about a show and a band that you saw. And I kept telling you how jealous I was that you had a chance to experience that and everything else, which was KISS. And I was driving down the street the other day, going to the grocery store, and I drive by this bus stop and I see this sign on the side of, of a bus stop of all places and I'm like what the heck and then I go home and look and sure enough guess who's coming to my city Memphis Vinyl Gym and the Misses Kiss without question which is so cool as heck Kiss and Motley Crue are going to be doing a show together uh, coming up in a couple of months so when I got home I jumped right online and bought bought my ticket and what can I say? Finally, I'm going to get to see KISS. Um, if you guys remember when I, did, when I did one of my threads a long time ago, I asked a question about if you could design your ideal concert that would come to your town that weekend, what would it be? And of the three bands that I picked, KISS was one of them. And I think I made some type of comment like, uh, I think if you're a true, true rock fan or a true hard rock fan, you haven't really lived until you've seen KISS in concert. And so it's just kind of awesome. I'm finally going to get a chance to check that off of my uh, off of my to-do list. So KISS and Motley Crue, Memphis, I'm going to get to see them, finally. If one of them doesn't croak or something bad doesn't happen between now and and when they show up at, uh, here, here for the concert. So that's very, very cool. I was really excited about that. But, of course, i got to go check out Van Halen before I go see KISS. Um, and then also, just thinking about shows that are coming up. I know I'm just kind of rambling now. But I also saw that Alice Cooper is going to be here in town in a few weeks. Uh, so I'm definitely going to go check that out. And then um, my boys Godsmack are going to be about three hours away in a month or so, which is a very short drive for Godsmack. I mean, I've gone all the way out to like the east coast to see them new york and boston and <laughs> you know, almost halfway across the country so i'm going to be going out to see godsmack which will be my 13th time i've seen them 14th time i've seen them something like that and it never gets old oh my god that concert gets better every time every time but uh anyway that's just kind of some you know what's going on in my music world outside of actually going out and purchasing stuff. But anyway, I will be back to see you guys pretty soon in D.C. Like I said, I'm going to do a response video to a couple of threads tomorrow. I promised a couple of people I would. And then also, I've made some changes to my music room. I rearranged my CDs and did a couple of things, which I think is kind of neat. And, uh, you know, I love seeing the videos of you guys doing music room tours, and I love doing them myself. So I'm going to do a quick one just to show those changes that I made very inexpensive change, so that made a, a pretty cool difference in my opinion, but we'll see what you guys think. Alright, take care of BC, and we will talk to you later.